Super Saiyan 3 Trunks and Dragon Ball Super. What's going on, everybody? It's Popular Video Games here. Chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going to be touching bases on when will Trunks turn Super Saiyan 3. Let's go. Now, we already know that Future Trunks came back in the newest season of Dragon Ball Super. He's going to stay there for the entire saga, maybe even some more after that. Now, Black Goku chased Future Trunks from the future. Black Goku is an entity we are still learning who his identity is. Now, he came to Trunks' time and just eradicated Earth. There's, like, less humans on Earth than when an android destroyed it. There's, like, nothing left. Now, Trunks decides to go to the past to see if Goku and Vegeta can help him fight Black Goku. Trunks cannot be Black Goku at all. Now, let's get into why he's going to become Super Saiyan 3. Now that Trunks is back in the past, Vegeta has already told him that Goku and his power level has already exceeded far beyond what he was seeing. Now, the last time he saw them, they were Super Saiyan 2. He doesn't know about Super Saiyan 3. He doesn't know about Super Saiyan God. Remember, when Saiyans see a new power source, they adapt to it. The thing is, Trunks in that timeline, he killed, uh, what was it, the Demon King, and he killed Bobbity. Then he had no other reason to train at all. It wasn't like it was constant threats coming at the Earth. Not just that, Goku and Vegeta are basically the motivators for everybody to train. Literally. Like, Goten was really strong because Vegeta was constantly training Trunks. And of course, you know, Trunks was showing a little stuff to Goten. That's how Goten was getting so good. Not to mention his mother herself was teaching him how to fight. Yeah, Goten's mother was teaching him how to fight. Now, the thing is, Trunks was never introduced in a Super Saiyan um three he doesn't know that it exists he doesn't know that all he knows is it's a level of super saiyan is level beyond super saiyan which is super saiyan 2 with trunks seeing goku and vegeta not just that beerus he's basically getting experience from the gods god of destruction you got Whis, who's a servant of the god of destruction who is immensely more powerful than beerus himself now you got goku and you got vegeta and let's be honest Trunks is going to want to learn how to get stronger in order to combat future threats. So he's possibly going to become, no, not even possibly, he's going to become a Super Saiyan 3. Trunks already has the massive, once again, potential to become Super Saiyan 3. Trunks was way more powerful than Vegeta when he first came in the timeline. He was keeping up with Goku, remember that. Now, after Trunks left, he didn't train. He didn't. I mean, he trained here and there, but not as intensely as Vegeta and Goku. Trunks training intensely as Vegeta and Goku will put Trunks beyond Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 is not even really a milestone anymore. It's not. Literally, Super Saiyan 3 is not a milestone. That crap was literally only good for Majin Buu. After that, it was over with. Now, Super Saiyan lasted quite a few seasons. I'll give it that. You know, the Android Saga. You got Frieza Saga. Then you got movies and other stuff like that. Super Saiyan 1 and 2 did last, but Super Saiyan 3 usage is lowered it is super saiyan 3 just reaching that is like i said minia school goten could do it and he mastered it just by what looking at goku i wanted to get to that point goten mastered super saiyan 3 by looking at goku and studying how he did it so if goten can do goten can do it why can't trunks and actually it was goten and trunks that saw th that saw it together and that's how they became a super saiyan 3 now Trunks is going to become that in order to fight whatever hardships is going to come in that timeline. Now, he's going to make it back to his timeline eventually, but he's going to get a lot more action. I know for a fact the creators will not bring in future Trunks just to have him in for a couple of minutes and then just boot him out. They're not going to do that. Trunks is going to have a major role in the story. He's also going to be, like I said, Super Saiyan 3, possibly even a Super Saiyan God. Now, he's going to be fighting in the newest Universe 6 tournament. He's going to be doing that. Trunks is going to get immensely more powerful. Trunks is honestly the, I'll say, the third most powerful Saiyan on Earth. Gohan doesn't train anymore. Go Tanks is a fusion. They're not their own being, so I'm not going to count them. But nobody really has that potential but trunks trunks was in all honesty the most one of the most powerful people during the cell games you had goku you had vegeta you had gohan and you had trunks the most powerful people at that area now 
with Piccolo, I know people are saying, we should get some more uses with Piccolo. Let's be honest. Piccolo can only go so far. The way he got more and more power was he was absorbing Namix. Like, he absorbed Kami into himself. That's how he got power. He absorbed Nail into himself. That's how he got power. That's the only way... Like, literally, Piccolo is going to have a drastic power-up. So, unless he goes and just completely eats all the Namekians on Planet Namek, he's not going to have a drastic change like he was before. Now, let's also get into Super Saiyan 3 Trunks just overall whooping ass. We've been waiting for this for ages. They show Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, even though Vegeta never actually went Super Saiyan 3 in the anime. Literally, he never went Super Saiyan 3 in the anime. It drove me up the bleeding wall. He only went Super Saiyan 3 in a few games. So, if they're already pushing Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, which Vegeta doesn't even need to do anymore, why don't they just put it on trunks? Guys, put in the comments. I want to hear what you guys have to say. This has been your homeboy, Pablo Video Games here. Peace out and talk to you. Laters.